2013 Grayback Shelter. Spent the night. <clears throat> Beautiful. Yesterday we summited the uh, mountain just over 7,000 feet. It was an exhausting trip. Took everything out of me. I was pretty much done. Legs shaking. Cabin is awesome. So this video is for Oli. I just want to let you know what you missed out on on the cabin here. We've got a supply on the shelving here of some different canned foods, some coffee, different teas. You got creamer, we've got a radio. You can hear the music playing up here of Dylan's iPod with their speakers. Uh, there's alcohol on the shelving. We've got all kinds of cooking utensils up top, pans and pots. Uh, you've got uh, graters and uh, floor sweepers in here. We've got a fire stove in here, Oli. This is super comfortable. Dylan's got his feet up on the bench here. Look out here. There's kerosene because there's the kerosene lanterns in here. Propane all over the place because there's propane. Propane uh, cook stoves, propane lanterns. We've got climbing rope that Oli would be excited to see. Um, candles. Upstairs above me, I'm sitting down in the side of the cabin here, but upstairs above me there's a sleeping quarter on one side and also on the other side I'm directly underneath it. This place is really set up. Everybody leaves something when they come and they just leave it nice when they leave. We didn't really have to pick up much firewood. There were a couple logs in here already. Dylan went outside and grabbed some. We'll probably sweep up a little bit and pick up maybe some firewood and throw it in there before we leave just for some extra visitors. But Feeling really good about it. Dylan's pretty burnt. He's tired. Um, he's about passed out on the way down the hill. <laughs> yeah. I about passed out on the way up the hill, so we took turns at points of passing out. It's just two of us out here, so we got to be a little bit careful. We're several miles in. Um, we did summit the mountain today. The mountain uh, is the highest point in, in Josephine County, and it's sitting just above 7,000 feet. Um, Dylan's rocking his jet boil here. He's got some top ramen. Uh, Dylan's a big fan of the jet boil, especially on these little uh, lightweight packing trips. It just gets the water up to boiling temperature within just uh, less less than two or three minutes, really. Um, the fire's going. Dylan's got his feet up there, like as you can see again, and we're just relaxing at 5,000 feet. A forest service cabin. Places exist all over the wilderness, supposedly, and especially in the Rogue River National Forest. Everybody's encouraged to leave something before they leave, uh, so that the future residents can enjoy some perks. I mean, this place is like home. This place <laughs> I mean, is like home. It is. pretty nice. We could stay here for several days and be very comfortable. Yeah. No doubt about it. Really, really cool place. Pretty exclusive. Mostly locals only are going to be coming up here. Can't believe something like this exists for us, and I guess there's a bunch of them out. So, um, you know, it's going to be kind of a cool uh, adventure trying to, you know, find more of these, actually. So, uh, here you go. A little bit of water. There's a place called Cold Springs. It's really what feeds all of this uh, really beautiful, just natural, flowing water. This is the top of Old Greyback, largest mountain in the Siskiyous. Just summited the mountain with a good friend of mine, Dylan Cavan. Congratulate him when you see him next. He deserves a high five. I'm rocking the uh, Canon here, and the Canon is uh, only 8 megapixels, and it's kind of an old camera, but it's better than nothing. And uh, we are up here today. It is. The, uh, the 11th of May, right, Dylan? Uh, of May. Probably about 60 degrees. You can't quite see it on the camera here, but in the background we can see Shasta, um, which has a ski resort at the base. We can also see Mount McLaughlin, which is probably several 
probably about a couple hundred miles away, I would guess, at this point. You can actually see Medford if you look really close over here, Dylan. Check this out. You can see Medford. That's badass. Medford's probably a solid 100 miles away from us. This is a really great view up here. Um, I hear that on the really clear days, you can actually see all the way to the coastal range, which is this direction that I'm showing you now. Uh, that would be west of us, obviously. Um, I think in the background down here, you can also see Cave Junction, which is where Dylan and I are from originally. Proud to say it. Oh, yeah. Uh, we both live yeah. currently in Grants Pass. Yeah.